So uh, about the environment condition, what we will see is uh, the thermal use of a coil, because uh, even if uh, this kind of apprentice is used in everyday life, it can be submitted to temperature, and uh, it should be avoided. It should be avoided as that uh, the temperature of the copper of the winding get to to height. Then the insulation test in uh, insulation is about uh, the way that in fact people can touch uh, this appliance with, without having an elect electrical shock. A molten test will be see another time because it's also an important problem, but uh, with other design. And of course, there is also other condition to be seen, uh, but uh, it could be vibration, etc. But uh, it's very large. It's very. It's we cannot uh, today. We cannot uh, approach all these conditions. But what you can see is that concerning the thermal use of coil or insulation, uh, quick fill have all the module you want because you have uh, some um, the thermal, dynamic and static module. And for the insulation test, we have uh, electrostatic, DC condition, etc. Uh, so that you can test uh, any resin, uh, insulation, etc. Of course, I don't talk about the magnetostatic analysis, which allow you to calculate the force. Okay. So to, to begin with quick fill, uh, I will present you a very simple design. Now first we will see uh, the oh. just just before uh, some example here, uh, you have the three types of, uh, of plunger you can design with quick field. They are simple, but uh, okay. Here you have the, the closed one, closed, with the body all around. Then you have the semi open here. and the totally open architecture. Okay, there is nobody, only the bobbin. So why I uh, show this to you is to show that with Quickfill we can approach the three different designs easily. And uh, this kind of design are axial symmetric because, uh, as you see, we have a cylindrical form, and uh, quick fill is very useful to this kind for this kind of design. Here are some example of result I made with quick fill and uh, using some uh, other software. With Quickfield, you can export easily the data. I mean, uh, from the stroke, and you can export the force stroke uh, characteristic easily. So we have the two types, and then we can have this kind of a result. We have the open architecture with some constant force. We have the semi-open and the closed with um, with uh, the force that become uh, very important at the end of the stroke. So, uh, I, as you can see, we can find, uh, we can really recognize the shape of these curves. This one, the constant, and this one, when the force is higher at the end.
Okay, now back to the simple design. I have to find it in my file here. Yeah. You, you will see that it, it's very easy to do um, a first design with QuickFill because we only need uh, three, three shape to build it. We need uh, a rectangle here, which is a core. I mean, it's a rectangle here, but for us, in fact, it's a cylindrical uh, shape. Then we have the bobbin here. Uh, the bobbin is without the winding because uh, we can choose to, uh, to, to use the density, the electrical density of the, of the current. So, we have the plunger. The plunger is defined only by the permeability. We can uh, see that uh, it's a linear uh, model uh, because uh, the permeability is constant. But we have also the possibility to, uh, to build a model with a nonlinear core, such as this. So, you must note that, in fact, the nonlinear mode is not very useful in this simple example because as uh, the magnetic flux is constantly open, uh, the, the, the steer, or I mean uh, the core, won't uh, saturate at all. So the bobbin here, uh, the bobbin is, simple, is simply defined by its current density. The current density is very useful because whatever the geometry is, I mean the geometry of the, of the copper, uh, we can generate take, uh, 6 ampere per millimeter carry, per square millimeter. So, and then the air, but the air is totally ignored and permeability is equal to 1. And the last one is uh, uh, the limit, the condition limit which we set to, uh, to zero.